Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to start a whole new chapter of the Toyota build. We need to get some paint on this thing and we're gonna to start today. So basically, if you, if you haven't been following me for a while, we went through and redid some of the, down here there was some Bondo that fell out when I pulled some rocker paneling off. So I went through, did all that. Most of the body work on this thing is ready with the exception of the doors. I'm trying to find a set of non-wing window doors. Um, I put a new fender on it. I have a new hood right there. So we gotta get the hood on. Um, but for right now what I'm gonna do, this thing has been in the shop, been building a flatbed. It's got crap all over it. It is extremely dirty. So I'm gonna bring it outside, give it a bath and I'm also going to scrub the crap out of all these inner fender areas, all this, get all the crap off here, all the little spots that it's going to be kind of a, a pain to clean. And then obviously up here, so you want it as clean as you can get it when you're spraying. So let's get it outside, get it cleaned up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these jams ready. So my plan is I'm going to shoot all the jams. Um, before I actually paint the truck and I still like I said I got to paint uh, get doors and most likely they're going to be a different color so I'll have to jam those as well but that's going to be when I get the door so I'm going to jam the door jams and the hood up here the, the like the inner fender or inside this little fender gap and then I also got to paint the underside of the new hood and then I'll put the whole truck together and then we can spray it out. And I'm doing it that way because this is an extremely high metallic paint. And if you do panels at a time, say if I were to pull the doors off, paint the cab and then paint the doors separately, put them back on, chances are they're not gonna match because spraying different technique, uh, different air pressure, just a little tiny change will actually make the metallic sit differently and lay out differently on the panel and it won't look the same. And another thing is if you're painting a panel straight up like this and then you paint one flat, that's also going to make the metallics sit differently in that base coat and it's going to really change the whole color. So with metallics, you want to get the entire truck together and then spray it all out. So that is the plan. Let's get this thing outside, get it cleaned up. All right guys, got these jams all ready to go. So it should be good. Um, did a test fit on the hood 
and it doesn't actually fit too bad for being aftermarket I'm actually pretty surprised so I think that'll work you can see a little bit I might need to move this fender in just to touch the little bit bigger gap on that side but not that big of a deal that's all uh, that all can be done afterwards so I'm gonna get this hood off get on the stand over here get the whole thing scuffed top and bottom and <clears throat> there's also a little dent right there you can see that must have happened in shipping so I gotta just put a little bit of putty or something in there get that fixed up so let's pull this hood off and get that thing scuffed up get that dent fixed All right, guys, got this little dent fix there. That should be good to go. And then there was also just a couple little areas that had uh, filled these little chips and a little low spot in that patch there. And then I also pulled the windows out, prepped these out. So the cab itself is ready to go for jamming. Um, this side's all good too. So I'm gonna go look at another set of doors tonight. I found a set that are, uh, they, I mean, they're okay shaped. The top had a little dent in it or it was kind of smashed in. So definitely need some body work, but I need them. I need them. Um, they're different colors, so I'm going to have to jam them. So if I get those, I want to get everything jammed at the same time. Obviously, I want to do the doors, the door jams, the fenders, and just bust that all out and the bottom side of the hood. So bust that all out at the same time. So I'm gonna go check those doors out. And if I get those, we'll prep those out and then we are ready to start spraying some color on this thing. All right guys, found a set of non-wing window doors. They're not in too bad a shape. They're actually pretty straight. This one's got a couple little dings here. And then the top is kind of, has a little dent there. Shouldn't be too bad to fix. So I'm gonna get these all torn down, get them cleaned up and hopefully we don't find any more body damage or rust underneath all this crap that's on them. boys there's the inside of the door really not much to it she got the regulator a couple rails the whole lock system the latch and then the seals so pretty easy really to take apart so i'm gonna get these things i'm gonna get that one apart get these outside pressure wash them clean them up i'm already seeing a few more dents in here but overall i think they'll definitely work so once I get them cleaned up, I'll kind of see exactly what needs to be done, but.
All right, guys, got these doors all cleaned up. So the driver's side is actually in pretty decent shape. There's only a few little dents down the bottom. And then other than that, there's not really any rust and no more dents. But the passenger side is a different story. It's got this whole top section is bowed in pretty good. There's dents there. The bottom, it's kind of hard to tell because it's so shallow and long. But from here, pretty much half the door is caved in on the bottom. And then along the whole bottom seam is all rusted out. So I think what I'm going to do is take my passenger door. This is the one that had the least amount of body damage. It actually has only just a couple really small dents in it. Um, but I stripped it all down and I verified that all of the hardware and window and everything out of these doors directly swaps into this door. They're basically the same skin. The only difference I see is up right there, there's a little brace. And I don't think that serves any function other than uh, just kind of to stiffen this up um, Those doors don't have them obviously because the window Rides right there. So I think I'll just have to cut that out and Everything else will fit. So this is the regulator From the non-wing door everything bolts right in so that's good. So I'm going to use this skin for the passenger side and then the blue one for the driver's side because the my red door has a couple dents in it and it's kind of just creased and crinkled right here. Um, and then also what we'll have to do is weld up these holes in the other door in the uh, passenger side. So I'm going to get to work. I'm going to cut that brace out and flip it over, weld the, the mirror holes in, and then we can get this thing sanded out and ready to go. We need to get that sanded out, get all those stickers and crap off, fi fix those little two, I think there's just two little dings in that door. So we'll fix that and then hopefully we can get some uh, color on these jams.
right, guys, got these uh, doors fully primed out. This is uh, just high build. So I want to do the whole thing. So I'm going to block them out, make sure they're flat. And I definitely needed some high build on this area where the uh, where I patched that mirror in. So got both of them primed up. So those are good to go. Now I just need to, uh, I'm going to let that sit for probably, I don't know, three or four days. Let it shrink and then sand it. You don't want to sand it too soon because especially if it's not very warm out, it doesn't cure very fast. You'll sand it and then it'll shrink after you sand it and it'll suck into all the little scratches. And after you, you paint it, um, you'll see every little sand scratch. So you want to let your, your high build set and fully cure and shrink and then you go through, sand it all out. So that's the plan with the doors. All right guys, I'm gonna cut this video right here. We got a lot accomplished, we got doors, so now we can fully go through and jam everything. Get the underside of the hood, get the jams on the truck, the fenders, and get all that complete with uh, base coat and clear coat. And then we'll completely put the truck together, put the doors on, fenders, well, I guess fenders are on hood, align everything, make sure it's perfect, and then we'll go through and paint the whole truck. And I'll obviously mask off all the jams so we don't get any overspray. That's what I didn't want. I wanted to paint the jams so that there's not all that dry overspray into the jams when I spray the uh, actual body. So that's the plan. Um, I'm glad I finally got doors. I do want to um, seal this jam. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to seal the entire truck with uh, a primer but this um i think i'm gonna seal the blue door just the jam area because when you're shooting metallics they're a little picky about what color you're going over and going over a dark blue like that is gonna make the actual paint look a lot darker so i'm gonna go through and just shoot one coat of just epoxy primer on that jam and everything else should be good so then once i get that that jam um, epoxied, then I can go through jam it all. And like I said, I'm gonna put the whole truck together. I'm going to epoxy the entire thing, which um, is gonna seal everything in, get it one nice color so that the base coat will look identical and not have you know patches. Cause I got black, gray, red, and blue. So it might look like a freaking chameleon by the time I'm done if I don't seal it. So I'm gonna definitely seal it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and definitely, if you guys are liking this paintwork stuff, subscribe, check back on the channel. Um, couple days here, I'll have another video going up of jamming all this stuff out. So give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think. See you in the next one, guys.